Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-44 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the 150 kg bucket is suspended from end E of the frame if the diameter of pin at A and D are 6 mm and 10 mm respectively. Determine the average shear stress developed in these pins. Each pin is subjected to double shear so you can see this is the frame and this is bucket which is suspended from point e the uh, mass of bucket is 150 kg and diameter of pin at a and d so at a this diameter of this pin is 6 millimeter and this diameter of pin at d is uh, 10 millimeter so you have to find the average shear stress developed in this pin and each of this pin is subjected to double shear clear so let's start with the solution so first step is that we will find internal loading i will write it internal loading the forces exerted on pin d and a are equal to the support reaction at d and e so you will have a reaction force at d and as well as at a so we will find this reaction forces at D and A. This is F A let and this is F D. Clear? So how we will find this uh, support forces? So for this F D, so we will take free body diagram of member C E. Member C E. So if I draw the free body diagram of member CE, let this is member CE clear. This is point C, this is your point D, and this is your point E. At point E, we have 150 kg bucket that is acting. So weight will be equal to 150 into 9.18 by using formula Mg. And at point C, you can see you have short strut BD. So force acted by this short stress, short strut BD at point D will be equal to FBD. At point C, we have pin support. So if you remove this pin support, so you will be having horizontal reaction force, which is CX as well as vertical reaction force, which is equal to CY. Okay. Now you can see the distance between this C and D is taken as 0 0.6 meter clear and from D to E this is also 0 0.6 meter. So from here you can see if you take this angle theta so you will get tangent of theta is equal to perpendicular which is 0 0.6 and base which is 0 0.6. There. So you will get this theta will be equal to 45 degree. So it means that this FBD is making angle of 45 degree with this horizontal. Now we will find this uh, FBD by using equation of equilibrium and that equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point C is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point C the first moment is due to this force into perpendicular distance is 1.2 meter and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative. So I will write it first minus 150 into 9.8 will be the force into perpendicular distance is 1.2. The second moment that is produced due to this vertical component of this force and horizontal component is not producing because this is passing through point C. So only this vertical component is producing and this vertical component will be equal to FBD into sine of 45 degree and perpendicular distance is 0 0.6 and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive. So I will write this is the vertical component and this vertical component is FBD sine of 45 degree so plus FBD into sine of 45 degree into perpendicular distance is 0 0.6 and sum of the all these moments about point C is equal to 0 so from here you will get this FBD will be equal to 4162.03 Newton now you have this reaction force 
FBD clear. So we will we will find this uh, uh, reaction force at point A. So for A, let me choose another color for reaction forces at A. We take whole frame as free body diagram. Okay, so now you can see that if you take this whole frame and remove this uh, pin support at point A, so you will be having reaction force which is AX and you will be having a vertical reaction force which is AY. So if and the force in this wire will be equal to this wire will be equal to FCF because this is wire CF. So FCF and this uh, load of bucket will be equal to 150 into 9.81 so we'll find this reaction force ax and ay and cf by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is due to this force into perpendicular distance is 1.2 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write it 150 into 9.81 into perpendicular distance is 1.2 and this is clockwise so it will be negative the second moment that is produced by due to the vertical component of this force uh, sorry horizontal vertical component is passing through a so it is not producing only horizontal component is producing so this horizontal component will be equal to fcf into sine of 30 degree and this perpendicular distance this fcf sine of 30 and perpendicular distance is this one 0 0.6 plus 1.2 which is 1.8 and it is producing clock counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write fcf into sine of 30 degree into perpendicular distance is 1.8 their sum must be equal to zero so let me write this component this is fcf sine of 30 degree okay that must be equal to zero so from here when you calculate it you will get this fcf will be equal to 1962 newton now we'll find this horizontal component ax and ay by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along horizontal axis must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see one force is ax which is in positive x direction so i will write ax and other force that is in opposite to this which is this one and this one is minus f cf into sine of 30 degree is equal to zero so put the value of fcf so ax will be equal to 1962 into sine of 30 degree so you will get ax will be equal to 981 newton now you have this ax you can find ay by using this equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so one force is ay that is upward and this second force is this one and third force is the vertical component which is this one okay and this component will be equal to fcf cos of 30 degree so i will write uh, plus ay which is upward minus 1962 which is fcf into cos of 30 degree minus bucket weight 150 into 9.81 their sum must be equal to zero so when you calculate it you will get ay will be equal to 3170.64 newton now you have this ax and ay so you can see that this fbd force was acting which is equal to fd clear that is acting on this pin at point d and at a we have ax and ay so its net will be equal to fa so what we will do is that I will write this uh, FBD 
is equal to FD and that is equal to 4162.03 Newton and this FA this FA which will be equal to AX square plus AY square by using Pythagoras theorem because these are its rectangular component so put the value 981 square plus 3170.64 square under the root will give you this fa so this fa will be equal to 3318.93 newton now you have this fa and fd you can see that here at this pin we have this FD and that is acting like this so this will produce double shear so if I draw it like this let's say if this is the pin clear and this force FBD is acting like this this is FBD so due to double shear this will be like this so what we will get is that uh, shear force VD will be equal to FBD yeah, or FD divided by 2 because FD is equal to FBD is equal to FD and that is equal to 2 times V. So FD will be equal to FD divided by 2 will be equal to VD shear at point D. So put the value FD is 416. 2.03 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 2081.02 newton similarly the shear force at point a which is equal to va that will be equal to fa divided by 2 because it is double shear so when you put the value 3318.93 divided by 2 so you will get shear force at point A comes out to be 1659.47 Newton. Now you can see that average shearing stress at point A pin will be equal to F V A shear force divided by shearing area. So VA is 1659.47 divided by A diameter of pin at point A is given as 6 millimeter. So 6 millimeter is 0 0.006 meter. So diameter is pi by 4 into 0 0.006 square. So when you calculate it, you will get the average sharing stress at point A will be equal to 58.7 mega. Pascal. Now you can find the average sharing stress at point D which is equal to VD divided by sharing area of D. So VD is equal to 2081.02 and area diameter of pin at D is 10 millimeter. So it is 0 0.001. So 0. Pi by area is pi by 4 D square. So pi by 4 into 0. Point 0, 0.01 square so when you calculate it you will get the average sharing stress at point d comes out to be 26.5 mega pascal and this are the answer of our this question which is question number 1-42 and that was all about this problem in which we have calculated the average sharing stress in pin a and average sharing stress at pin d I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.